Say hi. Oh, silly faces. <laughs> hi, everybody. Uh, I wanted to come on here. I know it's been a while since um, we have graced you with our presence. <laughs> However, um, hashtag mom life. Um, <laughs> in full effect. <laughs> Um, she's very demanding of my time. Um, as you guys know, I'm also in school full-time and I work full-time also. Oh, goodness. So, uh, we celebrated her um, first birthday yesterday. Um, she turned the big one. Yeah. And we're having her party on Saturday. Um, it is Sophia the First themed um, because she loves Sophia. Um as you can see, I have Mickey and Minnie on, and she's obsessed with them, too. Um, but as far as an update, I know I haven't provided you guys with one since she was eight or nine months. So I'm going to put her down, and I'll be right back. Ooh, you want to play? Play with your toys? Oh, those cupcakes. Yay! <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um... I guess we'll just go ahead and get into it. Um, she has her one-year appointment um, coming up on Friday, the 11th, next week, uh, to bring you up to speed. Um, let's see, at nine months. So at 10 months, she started really taking off and crawling. Um, still drinking breast milk. Uh, we haven't introduced milk at this point, any type of cow's milk. Um, however, her pediatrician did say that I could at that point if I wanted to, um, but I wanted to wait a little bit longer because I know how she was with her solids. Um, she wasn't all that interested. Um, so I ended up waiting until about 11, 11 and a half months uh, to introduce cow's milk. And what I did is um, usually during the day, she takes about two to three four ounce bottles. Um, I usually feed her her meals. She's strictly on solid. She's not doing any baby food, any... Um, cereals or anything like that. She is just not interested in either one anymore. Um, so we just started letting her eat whatever we were eating. Um, so she's doing really good with that. And um, I, so I would feed her her solids and then give her a couple of sips of a bottle here and there. Uh, we tried introducing a sippy cup at that point as well. And um, she still is not all that interested. She's very much so attached to her bottle. So um, if that's the worst of anything she's attached to, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, but yeah, I would give her a four ounce bottle. And when I introduced cow's milk, I just did three ounces of my breast milk and then one ounce of cow's milk. And I went ahead and did the vitamin D. I really was hesitant to um, because I know how fattening it is and I myself don't drink it. Um, and I figured out why I didn't want to introduce it to her. Um, her belly is pretty sensitive um, and it gives her loose stools, um, if not diarrhea. So um, I keep it minimal, but I mean, she gets dairy other ways. She loves cheese and she loves yogurt. Yogurt is her go-to for every meal just about, um, except for breakfast. But I do give her those yogurt melts. Um, they're like the stage three crawlers. Um, they look like little like discs, um, kind of like little droplets of yogurt, if you will. And she loves those. So um, yeah, that's basically it for the update. I'm sorry it's not like super long, but um, last I had her weighed, she was weighing 20 and a half pounds. Um, <laughs> there you go. That was that. Um, Let's see, we went to a mini doctor's appointment. It wasn't one of her um, vaccine or vaccination appointments. Um, I believe we thought she had an ear infection and she was actually cutting teeth. So better to be safe than sorry. Um, speaking of teeth, she does have four teeth on the top now, two on the bottom. Um, she went to her first dentist appointment. Um, yeah, a couple of days ago. And... Um, you know, she did really well. Um, she did have some bleeding on the top of her gums, but that was mainly because she is cutting teeth. And, um, you know, they said it's not a big issue at this point. Um, if we go back and it's still a problem, then it's because I'm not brushing her um, gums hard enough. But I actually know that I do because uh, she gets really bothered by it. Not that I'm brushing hard, but just hard enough to 
make sure that her gums are being stimulated and, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of keeping any type of um, cavities or whatnot at bay. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I'm trying to think of any other types of updates. Oh, as far as me, I'm still pumping exclusively. I have started to wean. Um, I was down to four pumps a day. Now I'm down to three pumps a day. Um, and if you guys want to hear about how I'm weaning with pumping, um, I can do another video on that. Um, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of do a step down and until, I mean, basically you pump until your body doesn't want you to pump anymore. <laughs> but I did notice that I have had quite a bit of a significant, um, decrease in my supply. Um, I noticed that right off the bat when I started getting consistent periods, um, you know, right after I ovulate, my supply would kind of plummet a little bit and then it would come back up after I would have my period. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you guys want to hear about any more of my weaning process, then just comment below. Um, but otherwise, I'll just go ahead and show you some more of, uh, Miss Tamsin. And if you have any questions or comments, obviously put them below. And um, that's all I have to update right now. Tamsin. She's playing with a bottle cap. What are you doing? Hi, gorgeous. Hi. You gonna show me your crawling skills? Come on. Oh, show. Say, I learned how to stand up on my own too. Yeah, so we're teething pretty hard, so I'm going to bite on my fingers. <laughs> Come on, stand up. 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 Come on, buggy. Yep, we're still calling everyone Dada. You want to stand up? Come on. Good job. Good job. Say hi. 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 <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, please subscribe and like this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. And we will see you on our next update. Bye.